Hey guys, Kills of Thrills here, and we are back again with some more Project Zomboid, where we join Dixon Nass with his journey in the zombie apocalypse. Dixon Nass has schizophrenia, we are using the schizophrenia mod. The link is in the description if you wish to know what that adds to the game. Uh, so, we are in Louisville. He has had a journey. We've walked all the way from Riverside to Louisville, and uh, we are now stuck, kind of like here. Not ideal, I know, but... We, uh, we, could, we couldn't really go back to the base, which is the graveyard, because we were surrounded by zombies. So, I'm not done exploring. I kind of want to keep going. I'm going to keep pushing forward. I want to keep looking around Louisville. I want to see what's going on. I want to see what we can find. There's got to be a nice like, location inside Louisville. If we can get to that, and then we can go from there, surely. So, we found this little house. Uh, we hid in it. I was gonna put the fridge in front of the in front of the window, but I couldn't because I couldn't pick it up. It was too heavy. But oh well. So onwards then. I need to try and figure out where to go. I'm just thinking we walk. Kind of like the look of this building over here. Uh, where are we? We're here, yeah. So you got this estate area here. Might be worth a little look. I'm gonna pop down there, maybe out and down the road. See what's going on with this. I'm pretty sure that's when uh, Hugh Janus died, actually. That might be the blocked off housing estate. If it is, that would be ideal. If we can secure that, it will be amazing. Because we are right next to town. And all the houses and everything are just there. We can get ourselves in all sorts of trouble if we can get that. But I also don't know what this is. I feel like I kind of want to look at this as well. So, let's go. Alright, looks kind of clear out here. Man, sometimes, you know when you have these decisions and you think to yourself, what am I doing? Like, what am I doing with this character? <laughs> walking through Louisville. What's going on down there? Oh. Alright, okay. Oh, well, I mean, first kill of the day. Let's not screw up too much. There we go. I kind of want to conserve my energy. Because, well, I want to explore. Can't explore if he's tired. Doesn't work. But what's the time? 9, 9.40. So that's a good time. That is a good time. The stats-wise, we have lost 2 months and 14 days uh, with 3,015 kills. So we're doing good. We are doing good. Come on, Dixon. There we go. Sorry, mate. Going to stamp on your face. Nothing personal. Just... You're a flesh-eating maniac, and I like my flesh on my bones. Thank you. All right. I feel like we're just going to walk through all this crap. Maybe not. <laughs> there's, there's a lot more zombies there than I thought. Uh, Louisville is packed with zombies. What the hell's going on up there? It's got no wheels or anything on it. All right. Well, we'll skip that. I just want to say sorry for the last video as well. The last upload, for some reason, someone pointed out to me that... Uh, there was a, like a minute or two minutes of just blackness. I don't know what happened. I think something might have messed up during the rendering of the video. I, I edited it and I think there was like a gap there. So it, the video does continue after that space for some reason. I don't know why. I'll keep an eye on it. I'll see what happens. I'll keep a closer eye on this one in case that happens again. But we can't be having that going on. Right. This seems all right. I'll tell you one thing I love about this. Look at the trees. Like... Got the ivy growing up the side of the buildings. You got trees growing in gardens where there wouldn't normally be. This is great. Oh, God, that was close. Tell you what, I'm going to spam these zombies to death because it seems quite peaceful in this area. Uh, I feel like it's quite a nice little area, and there's only a few of these. And I'm not being chased too far, so. At least we can come back this way and we know it'll be clear. Although I'm not looking where I'm going. <laughs> come on. Go on, Nixon. That's it. Floor, mate. <laughs> That's how it's done. Oh, That's good. That's exciting, isn't it? Oh, it's not for me. Right. So he's done them. Well, that's reasonably... I mean, there's a couple down there. I don't think they're coming after me. I think they're just wandering around the fences. Reasonably clear, which is nice. I'm going to keep pushing forward. There seems to be loads down there, though. Right, if I'm correct, 
this fence should lead me to the estate area that I was pointing out on the map. Don't want to do it, but I'm going to blind jump. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, kind of safe. Kind of safe. Kind of. I'm going to hop back over this fence and I'll get them on their way over. And this area is going to be nice. If we can clear this area, it'll be ideal. See if we get some... Nope. Apparently we can't. Oh, got them anyway. I love that popping noise. Like when you pop them in the face. There we go. The brain crushing sound is what I like. A bit morbid, I know. But, you know, it is what it is. And these are two-story buildings as well, which means that we can turn one into uh, a house. Well, a house? It is a house. What am I on about? We can turn one into a safe location if we can clear it out. Take out the stairs. Clear out the front area. And then, boom. Brains all over the floor. No. Boom. Our house to live in. Where are we? So we're here. So there's only one entrance down here. We're going to need a lot of wood for that. And a lot of now. So we'll have to go around and break down a lot of stuff. I'm not going to do that now because that would be boring. But what I do want to do is maybe clear out some of these zombies in this neighborhood. If I can clear out this top corner, we can clear out the rest later. As long as we don't screw up like I did last time and get eaten. Oh, huge anus. Huge anus got destroyed in this place. Uh oh. No. This will not be the location of two character deaths. I'm not having it. Come on. Done. Stop laughing, you crazy man. Are we having it? Right. I want to see. Well, I'll leave her in there. She, she'll get out soon. It's like I thought, really. There's not too many zombies around here. The area is quite peaceful. I say peaceful because I don't want to say the other word. You know, I'm not going to say it because it always goes off when you say it. No! Ah, uh, yeah. Fumbled that attack, didn't I? Well, that's right. Have some of that. That's it. I mean it now. Please tell me she didn't scratch me or anything. Ah! No! Oh! <laughs> Jesus, sneaky. That was the one in that window, wasn't it? I knew I should have just gone in there and killed her. Oh, I don't want to die here. I've died here before. This is a horrible place. Well, it's a nice place, but I don't want to die here. Hugh died here. That's it. I'm not dying here. I'm going to live here for a little bit. It's our outpost. That means we got... The Jesus Christ. Man, these zombies are thirsty for blood today. Like an all-we-can-eat buffet over here. Come on, get out of it. There we go. Sorted. Not bad. Oh, this is a survivor's house. Oh, oh. Boarded up as well. You know what that means? There's going to be some pretty tasty loot in there. Just checking out my health because, <laughs> you know. Almost got bit, and then I got scratched, and then, you know, the zombies are horrible. They don't like me. They're picking on me. How do I get in? Guess it through the back window. If we can secure upstairs and lob some rope, we'll have a nice little outpost. Yeah, back window. I'll have a look. Right. Make some sheep rope. Make sure there's no zombies coming. There's none. Okay, so I've got some sheep rope. I need a now or two. I can get that when I'm in there. What my plan is, rip up the floor upstairs so the zombies can't get up. And then we'll use that as like a little safe haven for now. And this gives us a nice little... Can I just pry that off? Oh, yeah, I'm barricade. Nice, I've got crowbar, haven't I? Oh, Jesus Christ. Let me jump. Don't smash my window, pal. Don't smash it. Just open it for him. All right, fine. Smash it open. I'll wait here. Oh, there's even more in there. Don't ruin my house. Right, he's out. Took him a while. Just stood there waiting. But, doesn't matter. There's another one in there. The thing is, I want to go in, but I kind of 
don't want to go in because I know there's another zombie in there. They're at the front door by the looks of it, though. I don't know how many zombies are in here. Oh, please don't be my death. I think I saw another zombie. I've got to zoom out a little bit. It's a bit too close, I think. Maybe they're upstairs. Ah, back door. Come here. Get off my walls. My doors. Wow, he's spazzing right up. Woo! He was going off on my money. Right, there's another person banging. No one in the laundry room. Pointless door. I don't even know why that's there. No one in there. I'm guessing they're upstairs, but I kind of want to clear downstairs before I go upstairs, you know. I don't want to just go upstairs and have a scumbag zombie coming up the stairs behind me to eat my brains. Let's see if we can find them. Holy crap. There's a lot of doors. Right, room at a time then, I suppose. This one first. Oh, God, Jesus Christ, what was this one? Door number one. And what's behind door number two? Let's go. Yeah. Here we go. Door number two. Ah, no one. Okay, door number one scared the crap out of me. Door number two. Door number three. Half naked man. Dead in the bathroom. Door number four. No one. Epic. Door number five. Let's make sure I get around that no one. Okay, cool. No one. Number six. Covered. Right. Huh. But there's number banging, so I'm assuming it's empty then. No one. Oh, awesome. Anybody else? No, nope. that's not how you open the doors. That's how you open the door. No one. What the hell room is this? Got some old fashioned chairs. All right, well, it's a comfy office, I suppose. Well, there we go. Done it. We've secured it. Well, we haven't. Because I need to rip up a couple of bits of floor here and then lob that rope out the window. So first things, actually, you know what? It's a survivor house, isn't it? Let's go downstairs and have a look see what we find. Nice. Just found a spear with a scrap machete attached to it in the kitchen. In the kitchen? That is a weird kitchen. You're not going to want to cook any food in there. In the old garage, shall I say. Get some water and <laughs> fill up our drink bottles. Imagine that. I'm gonna go and make some pasta. Yeah, and I'm gonna go and do it in the garage. Right, what we got? Oh well, oh margarine, not so bad. I mean, we could eat that. Oh, and the rest of the food's rotten. Oh, we got some canned goods, not bad. Some juice, some pop, nice. Wooden mallet, two more crowbars and a shovel, and a baseball bat. Oh man, this is good. This is a nice house. We can use that. All that weapon and weapon, 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 weaponry. Jesus, get the word out. Ooh, holy crap. Okay. Well, I mean, my aiming skill is actually quite high, so it we can actually go out with that. Yeah, aiming's really high. Got that from shooting the zombies in the face. We can actually go out with that. We'll actually do pretty well, I think. Right, so I'm just going to remove this corpse. Grab corpse. Going to lob me out the window. When I say I'm going to lob them out the window, I mean I'm literally going to throw the corpse out the window. It's a mod. Throw out window mod. You can just throw the corpses out the window and you haven't got to deal with them. Clean up is easy with that. What we got in here? Meds. 2x4 two, two baseball bat. Salvage crowbar. Not bad. It's almost dead though. Oh well. Scratch, scratch. Up and stop sign. <laughs> well, I mean... Why not? Why not? I'm going to keep securing this house, I think. Right. So the house is pretty loaded, which is nice. I'm going to have to start dismantling some gear, though, otherwise we're not going to be able to block up those stairs. I don't think I can just rip up the floor. I think that just rips up the flooring, right? But I need nails anyway, so we need to smash up some... Oh, well, there you go. Nails. <laughs> nails and a couple of bits of planks. Nice. We'll take them anyway. Let's see if we can sort out this floor upstairs. Someone said you can just take up the flooring with the crowbar, right? So, will that be dismantle? How'd you do that? Can you do that? I don't know. Oh, there we go. Pick up. Oh, that... No, that doesn't pick up the actual floor. 
It pick up. It just picks up the floorboards. I'm just, I'm just picking up the the flooring. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to actually build a floor, and then um, rip up the floor once I've built it. First, I need to secure some sort of system to get in and out. I'm guessing I'd like to do the back window, but I can't see what's going on down there, if there's zombies or not. At least this one, if I open the window, I can see down there. Yeah, let's do this one. We're going to attach the um, we'll attach the ropes here. Let's open the window. Add escape rope fabric. Nice. There we go. Got a way out. Sweet. Let's shut that window anyway, and let's get those curtains shut again. So we've got a way out. Now all I need to do is build the floor and... Oh, God. Build the floor and then rip it up again. And then I can just lob myself out the window, going through the door or the window downstairs, gather all the resources that's down there and bring it all upstairs. I didn't search the house properly. It's a friggin' alarm in one of these drawers. Oh, no. Oh, come on. I could have done without that. I always check the drawers, but I've decided to go downstairs first. Well, we're quite barricaded. Anyway, so we might be all right. I hope. Well, we're going to have to see now, aren't we? We're going to have to wait and see. Jesus Christ, I can't believe I didn't check. Right, it's quite dark, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to build the floor now. I've got everything that's needed from downstairs. I feel like I've built the floor. And then I'll rip it up. That should leave me a hole at the top of the stairs. So when the zombies, if they get in, they come up, they'll just fall straight back down again. I tried destroying the floor, but it just didn't work. It, uh, it just picked up the floorboards, which is uh, not ideal. <laughs> not ideal at all. Take those now that we build some more. Right, that is done. It is pitch black. I'm going to go sleep. I can't see a damn thing. At least he gets a nice, good bed. Look at that. Ah, good quality. Nice. He's been sleeping in cot beds the whole time. Right, he woke up 3 a.m. Or 4 a.m., shall I say. I think I'm going a bit opposite with weight now. So previously, he was too skinny. And now he's probably... He's going double arrows in the other direction. So he's going to be too fat. I still can't see a damn thing. I'm going to have to sit around, I think. I didn't bring any books up. Oh, there's a bookshelf there. We'll just read some books until morning. All right, so this house is full of bloody weapons. I've got weapons everywhere. I'm going to take some out with me, and I feel like we should try and maybe, I don't know, make some friends with the neighbors. I want to take this sign out. I know it says you can't use it when exhausted, but it looks fun, right? I kind of really want to use it. So I feel like I'm going to use that. Oh my days, look at the size of that weapon. Look at that. <laughs> ah. Nice. Right, I'm going to kill some zombies. We should head outside. I ripped up the stairs though. I can show you that there, look. The gap above the stairs, that's gone. It means they can't get up. We'll get some food. We'll go outside. We'll murder some zombies. Oh, he's freaking out as well because he saw a zombie that wasn't real and screamed. Right, here we go. The area looks clear. Let's do it. Yeah, nice and clear, nice and clear. Good, good. Let's make sure the area around the back's cleared as well. I know that alarm went off. All <laughs> oh, my dead, the dead zombies on the floor. Oh, now he's got a bag, hasn't he? He had some stuff in it. What did he have? A mat and some food. Well, I'll take the food, mate. I don't care much for the map. You can keep them. Oh, I can already see Louisville. Right, onwards to the next house. Let's start eliminating the neighbours in the street. We, we are those neighbours, you know, the horrible ones. It's a bit extreme that we kill each other, but you know what I mean. We got our first victim for the stop sign. Oh, 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 oh. oh man, that was good. Maximum damage. Jesus. Yeah, this, this is going to make us tired real quick, I think. But, oh, that was good. I like that. Here we go. Coming in. It's a bit of a swing. Maybe I should swing before they get to me. Jesus Christ, it is a good sign. Ah, <laughs> oh, so good. This is my neighborhood. Oh no, it's breaking real quick. All right, there's more zombies than I thought. 
Oh, did it do them both? It done them both. Wow. I mean, that's all I can say. What a sign. There we go. I don't know what it's called, the stop sign. It stopped them right in their tracks. Yeah, that's right, guys. Stop. Stop where you are. Just go and murder some more. More skull caving in here. I don't know where I was going with that. I was going somewhere with it, and I just, just lost what I was going to say. What's the song? Don't stop me now. I'm having such a good time. I'm having a ball. Whoa. All right, well, I mean, that's a lot of zombies. Decided to pop into one of the neighbor's houses. Just so I can go. I'm not really looking for food or anything. I just want to go from house to house and clear it out. Uh, there's no point in me clearing out the neighborhood. And then they come smashing out the building just to, you know, do me in. Please be a sledgehammer. Then I can take out those actual stairs. No. Ooh. We've got zombies. Knew it. See what I mean? If I'd carried on going through the neighborhood... I wouldn't know there were zombies in here. All right, they must be upstairs. In door number one. Like a game, innit? Game show. That's a zombie game show. You've got to pick three doors, and behind one of those doors, there is a zombie. If you find a zombie, you get killed. Or you don't find a zombie. Like roulette. Russian roulette, but with zombies. Found ya. Sorry. Oh, that sounded so good. So good. Some nice stuff in this place, as I tell you now. Clear out the rest. Right, house is clear. I put a green circle on it, so I know I need to go in there and loot it properly. Now I need to clear out these ones down here. Um, pretty sure Huge Anus... Not, was it Huge Anus? Yeah, it was Huge Anus, wasn't it? The war veteran who was going to wipe out all the zombies that only ended up wiping out like a couple of hundred. I'm already killing way more than he's ever done. I've already killed way more than any of my characters I've ever done, to be honest. Here we go. Nice. This sign is a beast. I can imagine it's using the same stamina as, like, the sledgehammer. Whereas it, um, it drains your uh, stamina and stuff real quick. Was he really depressed? He is really depressed. Mate, come on. You're murdering zombies with a stop sign. You're literally stopping them with a stop sign. It's amazing. There's nothing wrong with this. This is fun and joyous. Is this a real zombie? Are you real? Are you real? Are you real? I don't know if you're real. Ah, to... oh, you weren't real. Oh, no, you fell over. No, don't do that. Jesus Christ. Get your weapon. Get it back out. Come on. Please don't tell me you hurt yourself. Come on. No, you're fine. Oh, one thing I have had a lot of questions about is how I get my icons so small. Um, to be honest, I don't know. I think there's a setting for it. I'll have a look quickly. So, yeah, I mean, there's an option here. Uh, where is it? This one here, UI. Inventory container and button sizes are large. So I'm assuming that's it. But I am playing the game at 3840 by 2160. So... I mean, I'm playing it on a real big screen. So I'm guessing that that's the reason why kind of like the textures or the um, the buttons are so small on the side. Other than that, I honestly, I don't, I don't know why it's so small. I was meant to have answered this question a while ago, but I forgot because my brain works like that, you see. I have ideas, I think of something, and then I completely forget that I was going to do it in the first place. Those so apologies for the late reply, but that is why. Just let me uh, squish these. Come on. This <laughs> stop sign is awesome. I'm pretty sure... Oh, man, the memories in this place. Huge anus got killed in the garden over from here. Just trying to get a nice screenshot, I think I was. And uh, screwed up. There was, I think it was like down here. Got eaten. It was not It was bad, bad, bad times. Poor old war veteran. Done his tours in Nam. Got eaten by zombies in the backyard. Stop smashing windows. <laughs> Just took out both of them in one swing. Man, this neighbourhood is cool. Might actually get some time to explore it properly this time around instead of dying, but 
feel like we're we're clearing it out nicely you know other than what's in the houses i'm just going around the outside for now and just murdering what i can we can do the houses i'll do the houses at a later date and i I'll, i'm i'm not going to record me putting up the barrier because it's going to be the same barrier i put up at the other place you know it's just going to be the old compost barrier so you're not really going to want to watch me dismantling loads of gear just to build a crappy little barrier at the front door. Ah! No! That was close. Never. Bloody hooligans coming down to my nice neighbourhood. Could you imagine, like, if this wasn't the zombie apocalypse? He's got schizophrenia. And he's literally just murdering a whole peaceful neighbourhood of people because... He thinks there's on me. It's breaking into people's houses and caving their skulls in with a stop sign. Uh, that'd be a bit crazy when you think of it like that. Oh, well, my bad. At least we've got a high kill count. Here we go. Found another pocket. We've almost cleared one side of town. Might have to finalise clearing the other side later on at a later date. Might do the same thing when I'm clearing out that barrier area right now it's just a matter of making it safe our, our house is right at the top anyway so even if zombies did get in here they're not going to know we're up there anyway they're going to pretty much ignore us for a bit because we're so far away from the entrance i'll show you the entrance in a bit it's literally just on the other side down here in the corner it's it's going to be easy to secure you can end up with about eight houses here what's that you're not real you're fake you're real though I'm not dealing with that fake one. If he walks into me, I'm going to drop my weapon. So I need to get away from him. Sod off, fake zombie. You're going to make me drop my weapon with combat. Don't do it. Just stay there. There we go. Oh. Nice and relaxing, murdering loads of zombies. Oh, oh missed. Did I miss that? She was on the floor. All right, there's the entrance right there. See it? It's quite small. That's what she said. <laughs> it's a small entrance area. I just need to block it off. There's quite a few zombies outside. I might have to murder them, but blocking that's not going to be hard. That's about what? 10, 15 composts, I reckon. There's plenty of wood around here. Plenty of nails to get going. I'm not walking back to the graveyard for the stuff. Not a chance. I'll get killed on the way there. I'm surprised we even made it here. It was touch and go for a while. This is, uh, this is nice. Let's just hope we don't get a house party. If we get a house party, we're going to be in a bit of trouble. Come on, guys. Guys. You coming? There we go. Is she real? Yeah, she's real. Fake ones don't attack. So if you're playing this mod... Or you want to play the mod, fake zombies don't attack you. You can stand there and stare at them, and they'll just look at you. They won't touch you. Another one down here. No one going to bite the dust. Oh, oh, one, two hits. Oh, okay. All right, well, I'm getting exhausted now. This is uh, not ideal. But yet, I still can't stop swinging at them. <laughs> still, I can't do it. I just can't stop. What have they got on them? What have they got? Is he coming over as well? Why do they keep coming? They can't see me, surely. Might have to switch to the hand axe. Real soon. Ah, oh, nice. Well, I'm still one shot in them all. <laughs> Just absolutely annihilating them right i feel that this is, that's another zombie killing for today i feel like we should just go home it's two o'clock check the post box no letters no bills I suppose that's a good idea it's a good one no news is good news always locked can i smash you can't get in these cars can you no oh, i started to wish i brought my jerry can with me i left it back at home didn't i what a noob this town is ours, man. This town is ours. Look at this. All right, we're back in the safety of our little house. Oh, what the odds are that? What are the chances of that? Finding a house with a zombie survivor house and we 
bloody found it. Just randomly running in this direction. That's not bad. Like, we are here. Let's make this bit bigger. Where is it? There it is. So that's friggin' small. Make it bigger. Make a big icon. There it is. So we are here. This area here is in that housing block. And there's only one entrance, which is across here. So you get like 12 houses. And it's all yours if you can block off this entrance. Not just that, is it's quite close to the center of town. You've got all these buildings and all these houses down here that you can raid. And we can go out raiding every day. And it's just surrounded by a large fence. So you could just hop over the fence to get in. And you're completely safe. Because you know there's going to be no zombies on the inside of the compound, right? So if you're getting chased by zombies, jump over the fence. And they just stand around outside like absolute morons wondering what they're doing. So yeah, I feel like we're going to leave this one here. It's been, a, it's been an eventful one. How many zombies were killed now? 3,105. We weigh 78 kilos and we have been alive for two months and uh, yeah, two months and 15 days. I thought that was a three. My eyes are going away with the place. So yeah, thanks for coming, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more, subscribe. And if you want to play the mod, you can. Link is in the description. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for coming. Bye.